I'm gonna tell you a story. At first, it's gonna sound ridiculous. But the longer I talk... We have to find the keys. The more rational it's going to appear. I can't believe you found coffee. Sugar, right? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Three. You like three. How many times have we been here? How many times? For me, it's been an eternity. The invasion will fail. We lose everything. I die within five minutes of landing on that beach, along with every other soldier. Get down! How did you do that? Come on! Come find me when you wake up! to you happened to me. You hijacked their power. How do I control it? You have to die. Ah! Every day. Keep coming here and I'll train you. Again, again. Your leg's broken. No, I'm good. Then we better start over. Oh, come on. I'm not a soldier. Of course you're not. You're a weapon. They want to conquer the rest of the world. Unless you change the outcome. We are not equipped for what's out there. How many times have we been here? What are you not telling me? It's gonna be dark in a few hours. And curl up by the fire and open a bottle of wine. We should just reset. Whoa! Whoa, I just got a serious case of oblivion deja vu. And as you might recall from my review of that movie, that is not an experience I want to relive. But many people did enjoy oblivion and it did pretty well at the box office actually. So I think uh, appear appearing to be like oblivion overall is not a problem for this movie. It might actually help it. Even though to me, it, sends me, it makes me want to run for the hills. Why am I not running for the hills? Uh, why am I actually still interested in seeing this film? That's because of Emily Blunt. Now with Tom Cruise, I feel this is just like generic Tom Cruise movie number 85. Uh, and it really bothers me that they don't explain why he's so bad in this uh, whatever exoskeleton suit that he has as a soldier. Because uh, they show a, a quick uh, shot of him in a military uniform. Uh, it looks like he's like, oh my god, the invasion's happening. So I'm guessing that's happened happens before he puts on the tech suit. I'm not sure. Uh, but I just, I really wish the movie would just have a simple prologue in the trailer, just some quick lines where they say, Hey, we, we're almost defeated. We're so desperate here on Earth. We're, we're drafting everybody and sticking them in a uh, mech suit. And I'd be like, okay, got it. Thank you. Let's go. But right now, I just watch this and I'm like, you know, what, what could the military even hope that Tom Cruise would accomplish in this tech suit if they knew he was so bad in it? Why would you drop all these totally untrained people into the middle of a battlefield and be like, they're going to make a difference. I mean, unless you just think when they land on them, being so heavy, that'll kill all the aliens. Uh, and also, I have to say, I was going through this frame by frame, this trailer, to look for a still for the poster frame, and the wire work is super sloppy. Uh, I've said before, you know, when I saw these uh, mech suits or whatever, they're, they're, these exoskeletons at San Diego Comic-Con, at what point is an exoskeleton just wearing you? And it seemed that way from what I was watching in, uh, when I watched the trailer frame by frame. Uh, you know, Emily Blunt would be flailing around in the suit, and sure, she'd be, you know, whacking with that kind of giant sword they gave her kind of where she needed to, but, you know, clearly they were just like, okay, we're going to pull on this harness and you just try and hit the X. Uh, it didn't seem like she really was in control uh, or could be in control. And so I, I'm just a little concerned about how well uh, both Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise, although Tom Cruise is a veteran action hero, uh, he should be able to be pretty good, how they're going to come across. I mean, it doesn't look that cool to wear an exoskeleton suit. I don't think people are going to watch this movie and go, I want one of those. They're going to be like, I would never put that on. It looks ridiculous to control. 
Uh, but so back to Emily Blunt, though. She's what's keeping me interested in the film. I really like what she's doing here. She looks believable, aside from that sloppy wire work, but she's just talking. She looks believable as a soldier. I believe she's a soldier. I like the idea that she's potentially a drafted soldier. Uh, because also, you know, they have to explain why older people are being drafted into the military, unless they're career soldiers. Because typically when they draft, they draft young. Uh, you know, not only because, you know, the people are uh, in supposed peak physical condition, but, you know, they're young, they think they have, a, they, you know, they're not as, uh, they're not as wary of authority. I think, you know, it's t one thing to tell uh, a young person to do something, and you're like, it's for your country, and I'm, an, I'm a full-fledged adult, and you have to listen to me, and they're like, okay, but when you tell someone who's had real-life experiences outside of school and such in the real world, they're like, I know what, uh, that authority often doesn't care about me, and I you're nuts, there's no way I'm going to do what you just asked me to do. So I think that's another um, psychological aspect to why the armies draft young. Uh, but anyway, Emily Blunt, I think that she looks like, you know, I've been talking a lot lately about how like, you, you should have an every woman action hero, just like they have often every guy, every man action heroes. I think Shailene Woodley pulled that off in Divergent. Ellen Ripley, obviously, was an every woman. She was on a, a space truck, for heaven's sakes. She was great in that role. And even Sarah Connor was an every woman whose mind was twisted by knowledge of a future that it seemed almost impossible to change, but she was going to try her hardest for the sake of her son. Uh, I thought those were all great female characters, and they had that common thread of being just ordinary, regular people, not like a sex. I talked about a sexy monk, in, uh, you know, with potentially cast as a Jedi for Star Wars Episode Seven. Nobody likes a sexy soldier. They're like, that's the sexiest soldier I've ever seen. You know, why is her uniform missing important parts? You know, uh, Emily Blunt looks like she is just. You know, and she looks like her, she knows her life is in danger. I think that's great. And I really am curious to see what she does with the role. And, I, you know, remember, she was the original choice for Black Widow. So, I, although I think Scarlett Johansson really owns that role. So I don't, I would never even, <clears throat> you know, hope that she would be recast. But it's interesting. I think Emily Blunt looks like she's a pretty good action hero as well. She happens to be box office poison. So we'll see how this movie does. If Tom Cruise and all this action can overcome that. We'll see. But again, this trailer, so many unanswered questions. And I know a lot of people say, hey, it's a trailer. It's not supposed to answer your questions. But it's supposed to intrigue you. It's supposed to pique your curiosity, not make you go, that doesn't make any sense, though. But what are you, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't get it. That's not the questions you're supposed to have unanswered from a trailer. So, but anyway, I'll see it for Emily Blunt. And also, I'm a pretty, you know, big fan of Doug Lyman. I think he's a good director. He's, of course, been hired to do Splinter Cell next or is in final talks to do that. And I think he's pretty solid. So I'll see it but I just hope it isn't another Oblivion situation. All right, so what do you think of this new trailer and all the new information you got? What do you think of the romance they seem to possibly be hinting at? Uh, and do you think, I mean, I think the trailer seems to hint pretty hard that maybe Emily Blunt is going to die no matter what. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that means no sequel for her unless they can find another time loop. But what do you think? Do you like it? Do you have... Do you, are, you have questions going unanswered that annoy you or that, one, or that compel you and intrigue you like the trailer is supposed to? Write your thoughts down below. Thank you for asking for my review, and you can check out some more episodes right now.